Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Neoma here. Thank you so much to lend me her canvas, create this makeup look for you. It's quite fun, colorful. I know the look is not for everyone, but makeup is fun. You know, you like it, you don't like it, you can always wash it off. And that's all about having fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoy creating them. Give the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel give this video a thumb up and don't forget to follow both neoma and myself on instagram as well thank you to start every makeup i always prep the skincare first even the talent like me have amazing skin i still want to prep the skin i think that's something you keep in mind even the talent have beautiful beautiful skin prepping skin only gonna help your makeup better the first product I use is going to be Laneige Lip Balm. You want to keep the lip balm in there for the whole process of your makeup. And then at the end, when you do the lips, you take it off. The lip going to feel very hydrated before you apply lipstick. For eye cream, serum, and moisturizer today, I'm using is from bio effect this is a very beautiful skincare brand that i discovered recently always very gentle around the eye area the next product I use is EGF Serum. You, all you need just a few drops like this. And then you just press on the skin. The last product I'm using is the Hydrating Cream. This is a beautiful cream, great on the makeup. They are more of a richer cream. So if you use them, just use a little bit. I normally like quite a richer moisturizer. And I find that on deeper skin tone, it's great to use richer moisturizer as well. Always give the face a lot of love. Little deep puffing, massage. For foundation and concealer today, I'm going to use is from Rose Ink. The foundation, they are buildable, but they're pretty sheer. And I think it's more a light to medium coverage. It leans toward more light coverage. If for someone who have really good skin or want to wear really natural skin, that's a great foundation for you. And it's serum foundation. The concealer, I'm using two different shades. The color is very close to each other. It's not a huge difference. So the lighter shade, I just use mainly under the eye area here, a little bit right here, you know, my usual thing. And the deeper concealer, I use to pinpoint anywhere I want to cover more. For the serum foundation, all you need just a little bit. You can see right here, 
you don't need too much. You see, Nini have beautiful skin. I don't want to cover too much. I don't want to cake them like a mask. So I just want to have a little even skin tint around the face. And you can see that's all I use. I didn't even use too much at all. And just, that's a little bit, it's go a long way. And the rest of them, I just put everywhere else. As you can see, I use very tiny bit of the products and I blend it out. If you want to do more full coverage foundation, maybe you can use a little color director here. But I love all of those because it still looks like her skin. It looks like she have a great moisturizer on. It doesn't look you put too much on, which I love. And because also I'm going to use quite strong on the eye, so I want to keep the skin really fresh. And that's the best way to balance your makeup out. Is sometimes if you do too much skin, too much lips, too much eye, the face is going to look quite heavy. If the focus is the eye, then you're just going to keep everything more minimum. And that's the purpose why I'm doing today. For concealer, I'm using the lighter color here. Look up for me for under the eye area. And if this is not something you like, you don't have to use two different concealer like I do. It just, I love the dimension on the face. I love a little brightness under the eye area, but it's not for everyone. I know I have talent who prefer only one shade of concealer all around the face. So it's up to you how you prefer. And I just use a little bit concealer under the eye area. A little brighter and this is a great concealer by the way there is very very good coverage and I think it's a good combination with the tinted serum that she has the rose ink from Rosie and I think it's great because sometimes that's all you need just a sheer coverage and then you use the heavier concealer to pinpoint to cover all the extra thing that you want to cover so the way I do is I put a little bit concealer and if you find it too bright and uneven, you can use the foundation brush earlier and you just merge them a little bit. This is the best way to blend out your concealer as well. And then I use the same brush, a little more, just in certain area. On the bridge of the nose. And again, you use your foundation brush just to blend it out. Use a tiny blending brush or any kind of small brush with a deeper concealer. The color is almost like the foundation and you just pinpoint anything you want to cover more. And these are all her natural mold and I love it. I think it's, I'm going to leave it, everything out. There's no point to cover mold and stuff like that because it's, it looks just silly, you know. I think it's just keep everything fresh and maybe a little bit around the mouth here where the color is a little bit different. You can use the pinpoint concealer and you just blend it out as well. Or you can use a little color corrector before the foundation. So whatever easier for you. I'm going to go do the same, the rest of the face. So after you do that, you can use your foundation brush with leftover color earlier. You see what I do right now. I just merge all the concealer, the light, the dark together a little bit. So this way, everything quite blended together. Next, I'm using some cream bronzer from NARS. The shade I'm using like this. So I'm gonna do a little shading, just sculpting. It's not exactly contouring, I guess it is, but just basically really to bring out all the best feature of Nini. and use a little bit like this and just blend it out.
I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Would be something like that. And I also use a little bit of the bronzer and just soften around the nose a little bit. Nini have gorgeous nose. You don't need to do like all those crazy contour in the nose. A lot of time, like you don't have to do all those things. So it's just a little bronzer. That's all you need. The darkness of the bronzer I did, it just bring out her feature more. But technically her face, you can see all the amazing bone structure. She doesn't need all those scoped in. I'm going to use some easy bake loose powder from Huda Beauty as well. A little bit under the eye area. Close your eye. And the eye. And then matte the rest of the face a little bit. If you want the skin really dewy, you don't have to. I'm going to use a bronzer from Melt Cosmetic as well. Just to warm up everything a little bit still and set where I put the cream bronzer earlier. Very little. You see that I'm very dark, very little and just bring out all the area that I scoped earlier with the deeper bronzer. A little bit on the side here. This color is quite beautiful on any skin tone. You see that just the bronzer really helped to scope everything together. I think she looked amazing. For eyebrow, I'm going to use these three brows product from a PR package I got recently. I believe the brand from Australia. Uh, they sell online as well. It's called Trio. Um, they have a brow pencil, brow marker, and the brow gel. Nini have beautiful brow. I keep saying to her all the time, the whole time I could say, oh my God, your brow look amazing. But you see right here, I would want to extend it a little longer and maybe use a marker, fill in a few individual hair just to define the brow even more. And to start, you can see where the little gap here, that's I'm gonna fill in a little bit. And sometimes when people brow this good, you don't have to overly do it. I see people just like automatically start draw this triangle on people and start filling in, but you don't need to. I mean, the brow is so amazing without all those things. You just fill in where it needs. You don't have to go overboard with that because sometimes it look heavy. You see that just a little bit I do on the end there. And then I use the brow marker, all the number, we're gonna list it in the video and the video description box so you can find them. You can see right there, I just wanna fill in a little bit. They have deeper shade too, but I don't wanna be too dark. I just fill in a few more individual hair. And just fill in where do you think that it needs, you know. Something like that, and then you use the brow gel. This is a quite a good brow gel, it holds really well, and just set everything in place. For eyes, I'm going to use these three products. This is a beautiful cold black pencil from a brand called Neen, a great mascara. And then this palette from Danessa Merit. And this is such a beautiful palette. It's like this texture is really beautiful. I'm just gonna play with them. I think the shade I'm gonna use is this one, that, 
maybe one of the lighter shades i'm just i don't know yet i'm just gonna play with them this you can use wet or dry but i'm gonna use and dry and mostly these i'm gonna use my finger but i'm gonna use that color just to create the shape and everything first i'm using the black cold pencil just rim the inside waterline i'm gonna do this off camera just because it tickles so so I just rim the inner water line. You don't have to if you don't want the eye to be lined like this. A lot of people I have kind don't like me rim the water line. They want to leave it quite open because they like the eye look really big. But this is the best way if you want the eye look more feline. And then close your eye for me. I'm doing the same on the outer part. and you just use a blending brush, the smaller one, and just smudge it out. You can use purple as well, any other color. I just use black, it's the easiest color. Basics, anyone can do it. You can see what I just do. I just blend it out a little bit. Do a little bit on the outer part. I also gonna do a little bit right here. So it's really gonna lift her eye this way. And don't worry about how smudgy and it's not perfect blending right now because you're gonna overlay it with the different colors. So it's okay. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Do the same on the other side. So it's just something like that before I overlay the color. Next, I'm using this color right here. This is more like a bigger blending brush. You can use a fluffy brush as well, but I find this is way more control for me. A little bit out here. Oh, the color is so gorgeous. I love this texture so much. And then a little bit there. Close your eye for me. And then I'm just gonna do, like right now I'm just playing. So, you know, there's no right or wrong. You can do any way you want. I'm just playing the shape. So you see that the color is so beautiful. Create the shape right now. So I create a shape, something like that. And then the next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use like a fluffier brush with no product. Let's just blend out the edges. You don't have to if you like harsh line like that. So I just soften the edge it out a little bit. I'm going to use a flat brush. And I'm going to use, uh, I don't know what color I want to play, but I think maybe it would be cool to play more of the light color. So I'm going to use this one here. Look up for me a little bit there. Sorry, just because I put a lot on my brush, so it's fall off a little bit but this is a you shouldn't have much fall off at all and then you use a blending brush just soften the edge it out you can get your powder brush because i put a lot on my brush and there's some fall off but it shouldn't be if i dust it off first so the best way to take it off you can use a little tape like this and you 
take it off. This way, you don't ruin the makeup at all. And this is the best way to do when you want to take up glitter or all these fall off like that. See, that's how I would do. See, so you don't mess up your foundation and nothing at all. You should do a little bit with the tape. Next, I'm using another flat brush. Again, it's all about plain right now. You can use anything you want. I think I might want to use this color. And you can use wet as well, but I use a little bit. I want to play with all these color. I think it's nice. A little bit on the brow bone area. So you can use any color you want. You can use the other color. You can use this color here. It's just I would just blend as well. And then I think I'm gonna use this color right here. And you can use this or wet or dry. It's up to you. I'm gonna use my fingers. Close your eye for me. And then let's keep this really beautiful, glassy color. It's so amazing. I'm just gonna dab in the center of the eye. See Nini? It's gorgeous. Close your eye. Yes. show more I'm gonna do the same on this side you see this is like it's amazing I mean it keep the reflection is gorgeous um, look up for me I think I'm gonna use a little bit of light shade I'm just playing right now. I think that's about makeup. You can just play any way you want. Maybe a little bit there. You just press the color in there. Let's see. I'm going to use some mascara. And I love with, with the even no mascara as well, just to define the lash a little bit. Look down for me. This is a very beautiful volumizing mascara as well. If you want to try them, it's clean beauty. To do one coat. For blush, I'm going to use this bright color. I think it's gonna be really beautiful on her skin tone. You can use it on pear as well, but you see I'm using a little bit. Turn this way for me. And I just ring out the cheekbone even more. I think it's such a gorgeous color. And a little bit on the tempo as well. And just so you know, like all these idea, we just we just playing. I think that's the art about makeup. You can do any way you want. You can choose any shade you want. It's just for fun. When we do this video, to tell you the truth, we never have as many view of all the natural makeup that we do. But for me. I don't really care. This is art for me and I like to do it. I think that's gonna keep my job more exciting than just do all those neutral video. Let's 
see this blush color is so beautiful and then instead trying to do this gonna disturb everything the way I do it just really gentle application like this it's so much nicer for highlighter I'm going to use this shade from one side beauty it's a beautiful color I think this is great color on deeper skin tone or lip skin tone and you use a fan brush I don't want too much highlighting so just a little bit just dust on the cheekbone here sorry a fluff and then on the side the bridge of the nose for lips I'm going to use the two product from a Korean brand called Peri Pera um, this is the shade I'm using I think it's go around in the kind of family tone which I like and a little bit more unexpected it's not your typical brown or um, neutral tone and it's a beautiful shade I think Nini have such a gorgeous lip shape I'm not gonna cheat or anything I just fill in a little bit and then give a nice wash of color on the lips A funny story I want to tell you guys. The reason I call <laughs> Nioma, right? Nioma, her name Nini, because I keep calling her Naomi. <laughs> so she told me that, you know, just call Nini is easier because I make a mistake, I keep calling her Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> I like this texture. It's more velvety, like an ink, but it's so soft. And you can use just directly. To set the makeup, I'm going to set with a matte setting spray from Faye Astillier. That's the final look, guys. Truthfully, we didn't really plan out what we want to do. We just want to do a colorful. I saw the palette. I love it. And we just play with the color. And this is something come out. I think that's about makeup. You know, just have fun with it. It may not be a look for everyone. But if you're a young makeup artist, you want to play with this for an editorial or beauty shoot, I think it's a great idea. I hope you learn something from today or take some tip from today using these products and like the video share the video and thank you naomi no actually <laughs> neoma so much for coming to the channel and give us some support share the video and don't forget to follow both neoma and myself on instagram as well thank you Ooh.